Uh, apparently 15% of married couples haven't had sex in the last year. Ooh. Is that all? <laughs> Sorry. I was going to ask Just if you're... Just thinking out loud. ..if you're shocked. I was kind of waiting to hear what the audience thought of it. And there was a kind of an embarrassed pause. <laughs> an embarrassed... Ooh. So did you don't think that's... Did you say 50%? 15. 15. 15. So yeah. Mm. Do you know what makes me laugh? Is it it's sex? Like, yes. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot no, about your no. sex life recently, actually. Oh, wouldn't. It'd be like a tumbleweed. <laughs> No, but I, what makes me laugh is we're, like, scared. It's like, sort of like, can we survive a marriage without sex? And I kind of feel like, why is there so much pressure on a marriage to be all, all sexual and that makes such a massive difference? I think for some people it does, but also, equally, for others, it doesn't make much difference. And there are couples that enjoy not having sex or just mutually being together and it not being a big deal in their lives. So why yeah. do we care so much? It's like much? a sexless relationship is called for bad, isn't yeah. it? It yeah. fail, you know, which yeah. is... And the things, you know... Well, we've said, you know, who, who's the person who would, wouldn't mind if their uh, partner went elsewhere? Well, I mean, I would, would be understand. very upset if Ian went elsewhere. But, you know, marriage is... Well, I'm not even married, am I? No, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Long-term relationships. 20 years. Um, yeah, yeah, 25. 25. Yeah. You know, they go through ebbs and flows. They really do. And, you know, for me personally, um, and I don't like talking about my sex life, and that's just me, and anyone who's watched the show will know that I try and avoid it like the plague. It's just not comfortable for me, and I don't think it's particularly nice for one's partner either. But I do feel quite strongly about this. You know, I mean, there are times in my life that you've got things going on, like, you know, how when the kids were really small and I felt all, all over the place and you're trying to work and you're trying to keep all the plates spinning. Recent times, with my parents having illness and stuff, I just go into a bunker. Mm. You know, I'm just surviving and I'm just... And maybe it's not right, but that's... I just don't want mm. that at that time. I'm just getting on. Because it's really hard to feel well, yeah. sexy and attractive I... when you're getting on with the enormous challenges of, of, of plates. You know, you're worried life. about... Yeah. You're worried about stuff. You're worried about the kids. Are you doing this right? Are yeah. you doing the right thing by your parents? Are you doing the right thing by... Should you be working? Should you not be working? And, I mean, I am much more likely to enjoy a good sex life when I'm happy. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm unhappy. Yeah. But... Yeah. Would you, would you ever be worried that Ian might look elsewhere? Well, it's not been me worried, but, I mean, we did have a conversation. We were walking along the other week, and I said to him, do you know what? I used to, 20 years ago, and I would have sat here and seen the story of a 55-year-old man with a 28-year-old girl and thought, oh, God, how predictable, typical man, why can't he keep it in his trousers, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but now, and I said to Ian, I said, do you know what? I, I don't think I would blame you. I said, I'm a basket case. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> for goodness sake. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, but, but, I mean, I know, I know Ian well. He's such a lovely don't guy. Don't discuss and him too much, I'll be dying. He, and he adore, <laughs> but he adores you. He absolutely adores you. But you are a, quite a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> No, she is, because she's very like, bruh, 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 bruh. you're very, you're very driven. You're always working, you're always, you don't relax. You're always sweeping. If you're not working, <laughs> no, but if you're not working and you're, all, you are a very hard yeah. worker, you are sweeping or you are putting well, stuff in the washing machine, and you never just sit and chill out and lie in his well, arms. Yeah, yeah or... that's right. But that is my personality. But yeah. How lucky imagine... is Ian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't do anything. No, but I think that's kind of what you're saying about it when no, you say also, a basket case. That's what you're saying, aren't I you? I would think there are a lot. Yes, I am, but. A yeah. lot there's lots of people who've been in a long-term relationship that at certain points yeah. they just get worn down. Yeah. And as I agree. a woman, you know, I don't feel as carefree and hey, you know, let's run through the daffodils as I might have did I ever feel like that? 20 years ago. Because <laughs> life can get on top of you. Before yeah. we had babies you know? and elderly parents and mortgages and bills, God, we could lie around all day thinking about it, thinking about it before we even do it. And then we thought about it and then we talked ourselves into it. I know. We haven't got time to think about it. I used it. to think about it all the time, now I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, um, we, we, we asked you, uh, do you think a relationship can survive without sex? And 61% of you think that, yes, it can. Oh, good. Um, That's interesting. Which is... And I think 
most people, well, 61%, uh, feel the same way. That's most people. In, in terms of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. Um, I was wondering from in, Crystal, though, says, absolutely not. Me and my partner feel very distant with each other yeah. if we don't have sex for over a week. It's each to, to their own, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, some people don't even have low sex drive because of things going on in their lives. Some yeah. people just are that way inclined. And I think we need to stop putting everyone into these little sections. Yeah, if you do this, you're going to feel like Unless that. you're crazy for everyone. It's funny because only one that chooses to say, "Can you please explain my ear? Can you please explain why you've been thinking about states in sex life?" And I think it must have sounded very odd that I just said, "I've been thinking about your sex life." But, but, but it's we talk course, about it a lot outside yeah, of work. because I do think there is this pressure, and we, th we I think we feel it more in our age group. But to yeah. hear you as a young person, yeah, who's not particularly question. driven by Could that, could you survive a relationship that had too much sex? I, do you know what? I don't think I've got the time. And that sounds horrible, it, but it's not even a joke. I've got two children, nine and five. I've got, please God, a full-time job, you know, family to look after and, and to take care of. And I, I don't think I could, have, I could be with somebody who needed to, to have sex all the time. Mm. I don't think I could survive. And there's Coronation Street to catch up on as well. <laughs> that should be the question. Let's change the question. Could you survive a relationship with too much sex? <laughs>